Hey, this is Dr. Jason with Palmer Natural Health, and I'm actually here with one of my awesome patients. I say favorite, but they're all my favorite. Um, but this is where we literally have a miracle story. Um, Rudy, who is actually a Pentecostal preacher, he's uh, he's what I he's what I nickname uh, my uh, my Billy Graham today because he literally he's not even in from Florida. He travels around the country uh, preaching at different churches that bring him in and, and help give him them a great a great message. Um, but he actually came to us uh, maybe six months ago or so. December of 15. December of 15 he came to me and I'm going to let him tell the story but just to give you a little background. Um, he was not in good shape and I actually thought he was kind of on death's door at that time and we had to take some um, pretty much emergency, not emergency room, but emergency measures to get him to where we are today. So, so Rudy, without taking up too much of your time, and I want you to be able to tell this, um, how did you start here? What, what, uh, how, were you, how were you like before? Well, let me just back up and say this. Uh, we uh, always eat on the run, eat a lot of junk food, a lot of things that wasn't healthy for us, and of course, uh, we contributed our shape that we was in physically and uh, I uh, we haven't done doctors in 45 50 years as far as medical doctors and medicine uh, so I was having a lot of physical problems uh, the last several years uh, had a lot of heart condition stuff that I felt was going on with my heart uh, when I came here my blood pressure was uh, to the point that the machines and the, the arm cuffs and all that stuff would not even read it. Uh, There's over 300. Uh, that's not typical, <laughs> but that's exactly what it was. And when I came to Dr. Dean, uh, they checked me. I, I found out about him through my sister-in-law. Uh, she was coming here and she had Lyme disease and with his treatment uh, and of course the Lord, uh, she's well of that. She don't have it no more. And she told me we come down here to go on a cruise with them and she told me the, uh, that I need to come to see Dr. Dean. And uh, so I did, I came and uh, he examined me and, and found a lot of things wrong with my body uh, that I was having problems with and uh, recommended that I stay here for six months or at least give him six months to work with on. And I, I told him, I can give you a week. <laughs> I can't give you six months. <laughs> I said, I'm an evangelist. If I'm not reviving, I'm not surviving. <laughs> and uh, he tapped me on the chest. Never forget to tap me on the chest. and said, if, if you don't stop and take care of your body, he said, this is fixing to stop you talking about my heart. And and I knew I was in bad shape. I've had, had times when I had to get down on my hands and knees, all, all fours, to just get my breath, to get my, my lungs away from, uh, you know, the, the fluid and stuff that's built up on my lungs to even breathe. I had several problems. I even told Dr. Day, Dr. Jean this, uh, but you know the, the, the fluid was so bad, and had so many other problems uh, that I knew I had to have help. And so anyhow, uh, the Lord helped me, and, and Dr. Dean made a recommendation financially that that uh, some preacher friends of mine had kicked in, and I couldn't go to them and ask them for help, but they did help me. Took me on for a project for six months and helped pay my bills taking care of my, all my expense here. And uh, uh, he started on a crash course, and uh, when he checked me, when he first, when I first come in, uh, I don't know how far you want me to go with that, but when I first come in, uh, the, the numbers was uh, like, something like 13 uh, with my thyroid and 13 with my heart, and mine was on zero, on both of them. Right. And you told me that, that uh, we're gonna start you on a crash course like a cancer patient. We're going to really start you out heavy with supplements and herbs and what have you, and and you did, and, and you want to see me again that same week, and I think it's two or three days later I come back after taking the supplements, and already had moved from zero to three on my thyroids and three on my on my heart, and uh, you were very happy with that. You said that that, that I said my ashes. Well, I'm well. I'm on occasion. No, no. It means your body is responding to the supplements and stuff I'm giving you, and. So uh, uh, I kept going, and another within another week or two, I come when I come back again, because I come twice a week for at the beginning, and within within I think it's two weeks, uh, you checked me again on that and said my number was on 13, 
So I was real happy. I thought, man, I am well. I'm supposed to be on 13. I'm on 13. She said, no, that means it's, it's actually performing at the complete capacity to function uh, as it should. Right. To, to heal your body. And so anyways, uh, I started healing. And, uh, you know, it's taken, it's taken some time. But I, I want to say uh, the foods, uh, the recommendations on all the food and stuff, I'm a preacher. And I remember telling Dr. Dean, uh, I'm trusting you. I, if, if you come to me and t want to know how to get to heaven, I'll preach to you and I'll tell you how to get to heaven. If you do what I tell you, I'll get you there. And he preaches and, to me every time he comes in. <laughs> and so uh, I said, I'm going to do my best to what you tell me I need to do. I don't know. You're the one that has the knowledge. You've studied this or whatever. And so I've done everything he's told me to do, eating right, uh, everything. And six months later, uh, uh, my blood pressure is not what I'd like to see it, but it's uh, under 200. Uh, last time I... Uh, his blood pressure today. Now, I will not go into what his blood pressure was when he first came here, just out of his own personal stuff. Um, let's just say it didn't register. Um, I actually recommended him to the emergency room as soon as possible. Um, I'm not going to go into all that. However, I pointed to him and said, you are a ticking time bomb. It is so bad that you may not make it through tonight. It was that much of an emergency. And now his blood pressure is much better and is actually considered what I would consider a norm for him today at his age and what he's been through. So in that six months, going from where he was, which was not registering on a blood pressure cuff, to where we are now, we are a dramatic difference. And one of the reasons was because I was really hard on him in the beginning. And trust me, whenever I see this guy, I get my own personal Sunday service. So I, I, I look forward to him coming in because I get preached to every time he comes in. And I said, you've been preaching forever. He, since he was 10 years old, he's been preaching. And I said, from now on, for the next six months or whatever, you're gonna listen to what I have to preach so we can get you back to where you're supposed to be. Because also what he hasn't said yet is he's lost 45 pounds roughly in the last six months. I was 211, now I'm 166 big big drop and I said just listen to me he said I don't have enough time for this I said you don't have enough time for not doing this because you're not going to be going around the country like you do if you don't take care of your body and I finally convinced him hey look what you you have children grandchildren you have you, you have a bunch of people who are listening to you all the time you have to get yourself fixed I pastor six other pastors I'm the bishop of their churches I don't not their consulate their church support but they have problems and Dr. Dean told me, he said, you know, there's people that you have helped over the years, and there's a lot of people that you still need to help, and I want to fix you where you can help people. And uh, so within the last month, I have put back, I, I preached once or twice along the six months, not very much, uh, just trying to back off and just take care of myself and, and, and try to recoup and, re and heal. And, uh, but I went back to preaching the last month, and uh, I, I preached in Arkansas and uh, in uh, Tennessee and in uh, um, um, other 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 places already, and so and Georgia. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm doing better. And uh, did you I get on, did you get on a plane to come down here this time? Oh yeah, by myself. We're, we're, and you're from Arkansas. Arkansas. Ar well, I come actually come Indiana down here. Yeah, my boys. So 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 I love this guy. So people tell me all the time, well, it's too far, it's too far, it's too far. He jumped on a plane to get down here today because his his plan is doing so well. I'm seeing like once a month now just to check him, and we're gonna be pushing him off. But he, he jumped on a plane just to get down here to see me today. So I said, we're doing a video on this because... I go back tomorrow. He goes back tomorrow, <laughs> back up to back up north, back to Indiana, and back to what he's doing every single day, what he loves to doing, helping people every single day. And I said, it's not your time to go. I said, it's not your time to go. So he has literally went from unregistering blood pressure on a blood pressure cuff down to what is normal for him, lost 45 plus pounds and still losing, and he's back doing what he loves doing. I want to say I, I thank you and thank the staff here. They've been very kind. All of them have. Um, I'll never forget the day that you, I first come in here. Uh, both of us had tears in our eyes. And uh, I've I really never seen nobody with that much compassion, especially in your profession, that had the compassion and that I felt like you really wanted to help me. And it wasn't about money, it wasn't about uh, the business, it was about, I want to help you, I want to see you do what you're supposed to be doing in this life. And I want to say thank you. 
You're welcome. I appreciate you and I appreciate for what you do. And uh, I'll love you till the day you go, but you have a long time before you go. Okay? I hope so. I, we can't end on anything better than that. So Dr. Jason, Rudy, cruising around the country, preaching to others and doing what he was intended to do in this life. So thanks so much. Dr. Jason signing off. We'll talk to you later. Bye.